Okay, today we're going to talk about dewatering the oil. Um, quickly, I just wanted to mention that uh, kitchen gloves, I use empty toilet paper rolls to keep the uh, gloves open and uh, lets them dry out easier, keeps them clean on the inside. So the dewatering barrel is basically a, uh, a steel barrel. You can get these at uh, most salvage yards. Uh, this one, I think, held papayas or something, and uh, it cost me $25 for the barrel. What you want to do is add two taps. This will be the main fuel tap where you where you will pull out your dewatered oil that's uh, ready for long-term storage. And this bottom tap you'll use at the end of the season, uh, usually late fall, and you'll empty that once you've drained the oil, and that'll pull out the, uh, the oil of lower quality. You just want to return that oil to a restaurant and get rid of it. Um, oil will settle out any sludge that wasn't caught by your filters, uh, so this is like an extra filtering step. On the other side of the barrel, at approximately the same height as this, I have an electric uh, hot water heating element. You can get these at any hardware store. Um, these hot water heating elements, you just uh, hook up with any old electrical cable, plug it into a wall. Uh, the one I got is 1,000 watts, and um, it will heat up the oil um, to over 100 degrees Celsius if it's a full barrel, over 100 degrees Celsius within 12 hours. I usually let it go a little bit longer than that. Um, this way I can be sure that all the water is evaporated out from the oil. Um, as you can see up here, I have uh, some sheet aluminum I just screwed in there. I have a shelf. Um, I don't want oil to be seeping into the wood in my garage, so I add this extra sheet aluminum to uh, catch any of that. But the real, the real precaution against uh, keeping oil out of my garage is this bathroom fan. It's pretty much the cheapest uh, high, high uh, cubic foot per meter fan that I can get and um, cost about forty dollars and this just vents to the outside so when the electric heating element is on heating up the oil I just plug in the fan and uh, it will blow out any of the oil fumes into the outside keeping the garage relatively, uh, relatively free of the oil smell when you are dewatering the, the oil can be smelt but it's, uh, it's nothing like a diesel smell or any other unpleasant smell it's actually quite clean at this point um, you'll notice underneath the oil barrel I have a um, fairly heavy gauge um, vapor barrier just to catch any drips that might come out. Uh, the gravity feed system is very useful and um, we'll demonstrate in a bit uh, how to fill up the containers with the clean and filtered and dewatered oil. And once it's been dewatered it can be stored for long periods of time because um, there won't be any water for bacteria to uh, live in.